Good evening, Lizzie boys, and welcome back to my channel. Today we don't have anything that major to talk about, but there is still quite a few little Monster High related things to talk about, so I figured we'll make one big video compiling all of them. We got some new Skultimate Secrets art, we got a little teaser for Operetta and G3. It might be indicative of her eventually showing up in the generation, we don't know yet. In the script, it is just described as a G1 Easter egg, and it literally is her G1 design, so who's to say? But we'll talk about it anyway. And we're finally going to talk about the weird Dracula or Magic 8 Ball thing. It looks too ridiculous for me not to. So with that said, let's get right into it. Also, I'd like to apologize to my goddess, my um, His Fits Tour Alive, for not mentioning her in videos recently. Um, my brain doesn't work. But yeah, His Fits Tour Alive, can't wait for this doll to come out. As soon as she does, I am going to buy 15 million of her. So first of all, that teaser for Operetta. This is what it was. It was an extremely zoomed in close up of her eye. It kind of reminds me of that one video where like, it was like a really poorly animated thing where Princess Peach is like, what are you drawing? And he goes, oh, I'm drawing a map. A map, but that looks like a close up picture of my eye. And then he's like, yeah, map your eyes because I keep getting lost in them and then Peach screams. Do you, have you guys ever seen that? Have you guys ever seen that video or am I just insane? Anyway, this is literally just her G1 design. I even go as far as saying it looks like just a close-up of her basic doll's box art. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a pretty cool Easter egg. I'm hoping that it means something and that we do get to see Operetta out of G3 someday. I just want to see more characters out of G3 in general. We have a good amount so far, but we definitely need more, you know? And then we have the artworks as well as the new box style for Skultimate Secrets. This line is called Skultimate Secrets Monster Mysteries, so no um, thematically relevant name to what the like line is. Similar to the first line, actually, because the first line was just Skultimate Secrets, but then second series, you know, we had Viridescent, third was Neon Frights. This one is just Monster Mysteries, so that's fun. So... I'm gonna be crazy- I'm gonna be, um, honest, I'm not crazy about Abby's box art. Like, I don't know what it is about it, I'm just not- it's not clicking with me. Something about it just looks kind of off. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's the fact that her purple nose kind of looks like a pumpkin carving little triangle shaped thing from this far away, but yeah. The artwork is still good, just something about Abby specifically looks off to me. So the new way that the box works is that you have to solve a little riddle, unlock the lock with a key, and then you lift the doll upwards. So unfortunately, this seems to mean that there's no longer going to be a way to open the box while you're at the store to check the doll's face and make sure you're not getting a wonky one, which with Mattel dolls is terrifying because... <laughs> Let's face it, G3 can be wonky as hell sometimes, so definitely a downside. However, you can see the doll somewhat through the front of the package because there's kind of like windows in there, but you can't really see Abby because she's so tall. Like when you zoom in right here, you can see Abby's arms, you can see what her bodysuit that she's wearing, and you can see her lips, but you can't see her face. Unfortunately, it is blocked because, again, Abby is very tall. So it looks like Abby might always end up being a gamble, which is unfortunate because, you know, her G3 doll, to be honest, isn't that wonky, but these dolls are usually made by the Indonesian factory, I believe, and the Indonesia factory tends to have more issues with wonk than the China factory, I believe. I think. Um, or was the China factory worse? I always mix up the variants, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. But yeah, Abby's not the only one we got, so let's take a look at it, the others. Here's Cleo, for example. So with Cleo, we can a little bit more clearly see her face in the package. Um, in this picture, all I can see is her nose and lips, but I'm thinking her eyes are gonna be more visible. I'm not actually sure, I can't tell. But um, yeah, Cleo's artwork looks pretty good. It does, to me, look like her... um. It looks like the same base of her, um, what's that playset called? You know, like the, um, her bejeweled jewelry case, you know, that Amazon exclusive set. That artwork of her facing forward with her hand on her chest, it looks 
almost exactly the same as that. They just changed her hand position. Like, you know what I mean? The artwork looks very familiar. And then on to Claudine. Her artwork is interesting because she's in the exact same pose as Cleo. (laughs) They're doing, like, the exact same pose. The hand on the hip, they just have Claudine, like, facing the side. And again, something about her face just looks kind of off to me in the artwork. I I don't know what. Um, We didn't get to see Draculaura, by the way. So, um, yeah. It does kind of look like maybe there's a way to open the box. I couldn't see it before with the others, but the top of the box is still um, cardboard. So maybe there's a way to kind of like remove the tape and then slide the doll out enough to like see her face again i'm not sure (laughs) um yeah as time goes on i'm not as crazy about this line as i was before like claudine is cool i'm happy that they finally gave her a doll with some braids but i want her to have a full head of braids you know like i really want her to have like fully rooted braids like venus does like, I mean, I guess Venus has a row of cornrows, but the rest of her head is rooted in braids, you know? I think they could do that for Claudine, and it would look great on her. As for Cleo, I don't know. I like her, but I don't care enough to spend, like, full price on her. This is definitely a doll that I would go for when she's on sale. As for Abby, I can see myself maybe buying her right away, but I don't know. Look, I really don't know. I'm not sure anymore. <laughs> she's pretty but I don't know. Like, I don't know. I just feel, like, indifferent, almost. Also, I've heard rumors that this line's release has been pushed back to June, so if these dolls are gonna release in the summer, we've got more time to think about the ones that we want to buy and such, so that's good. Oh, and um, I don't have a picture of Draculaura, but when it comes to her, I'm not sure. (laughs) This line is cool, but... I feel like I'd rather wait for a sale for almost the entire collection. Although, I'd probably buy Abby first just so I can review her right away. I don't know. (laughs) Here's that magic eight ball thing I've been talking about. I, like, I don't, I don't know what to make of this thing. It looks like those things on Cartoon Network that they used to do. Do you guys remember those bumpers with, like, the little round versions of the Cartoon Network characters where they had little bodies like that and they'd have a big round head? Like, they made it for, like, all the characters, almost. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? (laughs) Um, but yeah, she's like a magic eight ball, and I believe her head is removable. Like, you can pop the head off, and then you have, like, a standard round magic eight ball. So, um, yeah, I think this thing is, like, $30, and it's part of the Mattel uh, revealed thing. That we got to see Lenore. Lenore from yesterday. Lenore. Fuck, I keep saying Lenore. It's like a force of habit. After years of watching anime, whenever I see a character with an E at the end of their name, that's just how I pronounce it. <laughs> I'm used to Japanese pronunciation. I'm. Uh, I'm such a nerd. Okay. But yeah, this thing. <laughs> oh my god, what am I supposed to say about this thing? They also made a Monster High Uno deck, which did exist previously. This is just a new version of it. Um, It's pretty cute. They did only use the main gang, though. So unfortunately, none of the cards have, like, an obscure character on them. Like, you know, like, they, you know, like, why not just, instead of using Frankie and Draculaura twice, why not put, like, Abby or Toralai on one of these cards. I know I'm being biased. I know I'm being biased. (laughs) But come on, it would have been cool. The original Uno set did use other characters. Like, Jackson was the Zero card, which is kind of funny. It's kind of feels like they're roasting him, you know? (laughs) Um, But yeah, Monster High Uno. I believe this is going to be $12. I'm not going to buy it. I already have an Uno deck. I've got the Pride Uno deck. So whenever I bring it over to my friends, they're like, yo, let's play Gay Uno. And I'm like, hell yeah, we're playing Gay Uno, guys. They should make a lesbian deck so we can play Lesbian Uno next. But yeah, this thing has been on my mind ever since I saw it. I feel like it's staring into my soul. And to be honest, I kind of want it. Like, would I spend the amount of money this thing costs to get it? No. 
But, like, if I ever, like, wandered into a thrift store and saw this thing staring into my soul, begging me, like, I need your help, you need to kill me, I I would do it. I'd take it outside and I'd run it over. Anyway, I'm gonna call it here. I wanted to just talk about all these things and I figured the best way to do it would be to put them all into one video, so that's exactly what I did. <laughs> um... Feel free to comment your favorite thing we discussed today. Do you like the Draculaura 8-ball? Would you let her read your fortune? To be honest, I prefer to rely on the Spencer's Magic Meatball toy from McDonald's. That's my favorite fortune-telling device. Like, did the battery die 10 years ago? Yes, but sometimes I shake it and I still hear the ghost of the meatball. Anyway, insanity aside, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, yeah, feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!